venting spite? Yeah, how about it? All right. Can you give me a minute? Wait for me in the hallway. Right. Mind if we do this somewhere else? You're the boss. Stop checking me out like that. You killed them? Such a gentleman. Are you asking out of tactical curiosity? Or are you just fucking with me? Bet they didn't offer much resistance. You got a problem with that? You got no idea how hard it is to hide your true self around here. Hey, I'm not accusing anybody. A real gentleman. I just turned my back, but you didn't strike. You are fucking with me! It's actually pretty hard to take cheap shots when your enemy is as bloodthirsty as yourself. People like us think alike, don't we? Shall we? You will pay with your life! At last I have my chance. I will now avenge my father! Something tells me you watch too many samurai movies, little girl. What the hell was that? And she's gone. Okay. Shinobu is actually pretty rough. Um, she was the first boss I actually had problems with just because she's really relentless. And then she's got a particular attack that can easily take off 50% of your life, if not more. She also is one of the first enemies that will start dodging your attacks if you enter a dark side slide. Also, I believe if you attack her while she's swinging her sword around, she'll parry you and attack, uh, attack you instead. She also has mid, during like one of her uh, attack streams, she'll do it unblockable, making it hard to dodge if you don't see it coming. She's also got a projectile that the other projectiles unblockable. And she can also attack you while you're attacking. But she's not that bad just as long as you keep her cool and don't let her overwhelm you. And also, do not get hit by her uh, desperation attack. The desperation attack can easily cost you the entire thing. And unfortunately, a lot of her attacks are telegraphed and have a lot of audio cues. So it's easy to see them coming. It's just that if you mess up and do get hit with them, they hurt a lot. Also know because I haven't been showing them in this boss in these boss battles. But uh, in all the boss battles, there are uh, item boxes everywhere. Or rather, there's a set of item boxes: one for your battery, one for your health. So if you do find yourself in trouble, go ahead and go for it. But your battery should be fine. You'll find an opening. Like she's just taunting over there in the corner because I'm not close enough. And that's plenty of time for me to um, charge my battery. For health, you'll just need to go get that item box with the health, you know, health pack in it. And you can see there, earlier on, I had her stunned, but I didn't get to her in time and missed my chance to do some real good damage on her. 
Now I've got to wait for her to get stunned again, which is going to be a while just because she has a knack for blocking. Yeah, and I know that her um, desperation attack is the unblockable one. That takes a really long, it has a really long wind up. So make sure you avoid it at all costs. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Also, I forgot as far as controls, but you'll do this in the tutorial if you play it. The D-pad on the Wii mount acts as your dodge button. Left, right, and down are your dodge buttons. They also can act as your dark side slide if you have good timing. Otherwise, I just use the analog stick and that's how I do my dark side slides. Hurt her quite a bit. Okay, and I couldn't dodge that because I wasn't locked onto her and I was just a guard, and he can't block this projectile. And you can see a lot of her attacks that are telegraphed are very slow. The thing is, if they hit you, it does a lot of damage. And I'm actually down to my last portion of heart. So I might want to go get that health pack soon if this drags on. So, just as easy as that, I can end up losing the entire boss fight. That sucks. Okay, let's try that again.
get that help. Oh, hey! Okay, I'm alive, but I cannot get hit by another one of those. 